Okay, so welcome back to Strength Coach Tutorials. And in today's tutorial, I'm actually taking um, a user submitted question from a form that I have in the description below where you can submit an answer to, or where you can submit a topic and I will answer that topic um, for a future video. So for today's video, what we're gonna do is the question was, um, how can I convert between kilograms and pounds in my workout card? And then how can I track stats on that um, on the workout card as well. So to set this up, what I have here is an example of a section out of a workout card that I might give to an athlete. And in this case, um, this athlete is going to do a barbell back squat for five sets of five um, at 100. And if you have different types of plates in your gym or athletes are working out at different gyms that you work with, um, this weight might be 100 kilos or it might be 100 pounds. And we need a way to differentiate um, what it actually is. So the first thing I'm going to add to this card is I'm going to add a box where we can actually select what the weight was recorded in. So I'm just going to put a little yellow box there and that's going to um, allow me to signify that I'm going to put something there and then I'm going to put a data validation. So I'm going to go to data, data validation and I'm gonna select a list. And instead of selecting a name range or something that we've done in other videos, I'm just gonna use the values kg, comma, lb to signify kilograms and pounds. So in this case, we're able to now select whether we've measured this weight in kilograms or in pounds. So that's good. Now, the second part of this question is how can I actually keep some stats on that? So what we're gonna do is off to the side here, I'm just going to add a little call or a little um, column where we can keep some stats. I'm going to make that yellow. I'll type in, sorry, I'm going to put it up from there. I'll make that yellow. I'm going to type in stats and I'll bold that, put it kind of in the middle. And then underneath, I'm going to type in weight. And then what I want to do is I'm going to put all the weights in boxes here. So I'll use the borders I or the borders and I'll actually put all borders all the way around. And then at the top, I want to be able to select a master value for whether I want all of my weights in kilograms or all of my weights in pounds. And an easy way to do that is I'm gonna use this same dropdown or this same dropdown menu and I just hit Control C. And if I paste that up there, it'll paste the same dropdown menu, albeit with the borders that I had over on the left side here. So I'm gonna take those off quickly. Let's take those borders off. And what this is going to do is allow me to choose um, what weight I want all of my weights on this side to be. Now, the next piece of this is we have to take the weights from the workout card and put them in the stats column on the right hand side here. So I'm going to use a function called ifs. And what ifs does is allows me to check for multiple conditions and then uh, perform different actions based on that. So I'm going to put equals ifs. And I'm going to open up some brackets. And the first test that I want to test for is if um, the master value is equal to the value that the weight has been recorded in. And if it is, I don't want to do anything. I'm just going to pull the weight over. So I'm going to close that off and hit enter. And let's see if that works. Great. So what's happened? Um, We've recorded the weight in kilograms and I want all the weights to be in kilograms. So I'm just gonna pull that weight over. But what happens now if I change? Well, you're gonna see that we get an error. So we have to add some more um, criteria. So the next criteria would be, as I put another bracket, bracket it's gonna ask me what my next test is. The next test that we'll have is if this is equal to pounds and I'm going to put quotations LB quotations and remember we've already checked to see if they match and they don't so the only other thing this could be would be kilograms and to convert kilograms to pounds we're going to multiply by 2.2 so the value of true is going to be this value here the weight and then I'm going to times that by 2.2 and now let's press enter and let's see what that does so great they're both equal to kilograms, pull it over, it's 100 kilos. But if we want everything in weight, or sorry, in pounds, and that was measured in kilograms, well, they don't match, so we're gonna times that by 2.2, so that gives us approximately 220 kilograms. Great. 
So the only other situation that we might run into is um, this is in kilograms, but this is in pounds. So now we need to figure out a way to convert this pounds to kilograms. So we'll, we'll do that situation now. So the last situation we might run to run into would be um, if this is equal to kilograms and whenever we're referencing um, a text value, we always put that in quotation marks. Then we want to take the weight value and we want to actually divide it by 2.2 to convert it back to kilograms. And I'm going to hit enter. And you can see that that now converts to kilograms. So that's the only other situation. So if both of them are kilograms, then it's 100 kilos. If we actually want it in pounds, then it's 220. But if we wanted kilograms and it's pounds, then it's going to be 45 kilos. So that's just a simple way to add a little formula to the side of your workout card in order to um, convert all of your weights into the same value. The last piece we can do to clean this up a little bit is there's certain values that we never want to change. So we probably don't want to change the, um, the reference value up here at the top. So that would be equal to P2. So anytime I see P2, I'm just going to hit F4 and that's going to put dollar signs around it. And that's going to lock it in place. The other value that I might not want to change would be B7. And I'm going to put dollar signs around that. If we leave the other one open, that's going to allow us to drag the formula down. So I'm going to hit enter and then I'll drag this formula down and you're going to see we get a zero value. Okay. What I'm, I'm going to put one more um, test in there for that. And what it's going to look like is at the beginning, it's going to be if this is equal to double brackets, which signifies nothing, then I want it to be double brackets. Or yeah, sorry, not double brackets, double quotations. And if I hit enter there and then drag the formula down, now it's gonna clear everything up. So basically what it's saying is if this cell is empty, then just make the weight cell down here empty. So there you have it, simple trick. Um, can add a little bit of functionality to your workout card and convert all your weights to the same kind of denomination to make it easier for you to kind of track some stats on your athletes. So if this helped you out, please give the video a thumbs up and share it to social media if you wouldn't mind. Um, and if you want to keep up with me on social media, you can find me on Twitter and or Instagram at DSM Strength. And like I alluded to earlier, there is um, a form in the description where you can submit your idea for a future episode and if i pick your idea i will send you the video or sorry i will send you the spreadsheet so thanks for watching hopefully see you in the next video